Hi, how are you guys? How are you? Pretty good. <laughs> I don't know why. <laughs> Thank you so much, Evie. Hey, I'm so happy, guys. I'm sorry, but I had to let you know the truth. I'll fall asleep. I don't know what happened to me. <laughs> really? Yeah, yeah, to be honest with you. I fall asleep. I don't know why. Okay. And when I find it out, I figured it out. Oh my God. And I was, oh my God, what's going on? What happened? Yeah, I don't know why. I fall asleep. Okay, no problem, teacher. Yeah, and when I find, I find out, oh my God, my class. And I was like, uh oh. Teacher. <laughs> yes, yeah, Owen. What? What? How are you? Well, now I'm pretty good <laughs> because I'm already awake. <laughs> it's a good day. Well, no, it has been a really tough day, you know. A really, really tough day. Ah, for me. Yeah. Okay. yeah, but now I'm, for, I'm good. Hey, Selby, it's really nice. You see, Natty? Hey, I told you that when Selby arrives, Rachel just disappears, right? Yeah, yeah uh huh. Hey, you see, right, uh, Tanya? Right? Uh huh. Yeah. I don't know what happened. <laughs> Why? And then when Selvin is not here and Rosario is not here, arrives also Rachel. You know what? It's really nice. Well, that's good. Hey, guys. Uh, oh, Rachel is here. Oh, my God. Something's going to happen. <laughs> yeah, something's going to happen. Hey, how was your day, girl, guys and boy? How are you? How was your day today? Who can tell me? Uh-huh. Uh Selvin. How was your day? Was it good? Fine. 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 Okay. Yes. Amazing. Yes. What about yesterday, you? yesterday uh -huh. I I wasn't in the class because mm -hmm. uh, I started the project. Oh, okay. So, um, Centro Comercial Plaza Mundo. Okay. Oh, um, yes, and we need the uh, work at, at night or, oh okay but tomorrow tomorrow um, i try to please don't miss the class it's gonna be tomorrow yes, our last uh, class over here i have problem with the schedule sketch with in, the schedule uh -huh. yes in the um, with the with the corporation of Plaza Mundo, they oh. have a they have a, a sketch to a very trabado, very tie, very tie. Yeah. Mm -hmm. mm, okay, I got it. But hopefully not, right? Hopefully you can be with us tomorrow, right, Natty? You know, our next, yeah. yeah. Yeah, hopefully. Yeah. So you know what? Talking about hopefully, <laughs> not talking about possibilities. Today we're going to learn something really important. Uh, conditional sentences. Hey, have you heard about them? Have you used them? Have you used conditional? No? No. No. If if very good. Excellent. <laughs> yes. If. Well, there are a lot of conditional first. Uh, second, third, but today we're going to learn about first conditional, if, that means possibilities, okay? So we're talking about possibilities in present. Of course, the main idea is going to be in future. For example, if I had a lot of money, I will travel around the world, for example. It's an example. So this is what we're going to learn. Possibilities, if. Tanya, let me ask you something. If, mm, if you were rich, <laughs> what, what will you do? Uh, I will um, I will buy it. The Ferrari. A Ferrari. <laughs> uh -oh. 
Oh, yeah. That's, yeah, that's amazing. Okay. So let me give you another sentence. Um, let me check. I think it's going to be Natty. Yes. Okay, let me check Natty. I will give you this information. Let me check it out. I have a, another one here that I want to use. Uh, 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 uh. There you go. Okay. Natty. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this is a really good one. Natty, if you fall in love, I will get married. Yeah, very good. <laughs> Excellent. You will get married. Okay. Now, Mr. Sullivan. Um, Mr. Sullivan, if you move to a foreign country, please repeat, please. If you move to a foreign country, uh huh. I don't understand. Foreign country, that means a different country yeah, from your yeah, side. Yeah. Uh, okay. So if you move from a different country, you will what? Yes. Yes. What will be a immediate consequence? Consequence, okay. Uh-huh. Uh, you will? The, I will what? I will the I will need to work. Of different professions. Profession. Okay, basic, very good. You can have a cultural shock, right? Yeah. That could be. <laughs> All right. Uh, Probably uh, cooking or cleaning the house or paint. Or... Yes, we don't know, right? Yeah. yeah. Rachel, wow, you look nice, Rachel. Okay, so if you study hard, what be the consequence? Mm -hmm. I would get a job. Very good. You will get a job. Okay. Now let's. We're going to play something. Okay. Let's stay with the sentence that Rachel said. If I study hard, I will get a job. Now, guys, I want you to give me a sentence with the idea I will get a job. So, and then I need another consequence. For example, if I get a job. Okay, that's what I want you to start. If I get a job, if I get a job, Tanya, what will be the consequence if I get a job? A job. Uh, a job, like work, right? Job. Mm -hmm. If I, uh, I will take a lot of money. Okay, you will have a lot of money. Okay, now, Nati, Nati, if I have a lot of money, I will buy a lot of clothes. If I buy a lot of clothes, solve him. <sighs> if I pay my con my no, if I buy a lot of clothes. My, if 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 I buy a lot of clothes, clothes. Oh, okay, okay. I will uh, wear a different. Uh, clothes every day you will wear a different clothes every day oh okay rachel if i wear a different clothes every day uh-huh i would i would okay. hang out every day maybe you will, hang, you will hang out everywhere okay not if i hang out everywhere or uh-huh uh, i will have a lot of friends okay and if i have a lot of friends <laughs> Tony. <laughs> <laughs> okay. i will um Visit a lot of discotheques. Okay, oh, all right. And if I visit a lot of discotheques, Selvin, wow, teacher. The sentence will never end. To be a great dance, dancer. You will be a great dancer. If I be a great dancer, Rachel? Uh, I would, um, I would meet more people. Uh-huh. And if I meet my people, Natty. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, this never ends. <laughs> okay, so okay, I know, I know like you're like, oh my god, teacher, we'll be like this all the time. No. Okay, but you see how it's nice? Yeah, so that's what we're going to learn. If I do this, okay, so that's what we're going to learn today. So, but I want you guys to have like a good idea how you use the conditional and how you use the main idea. 
because the conditional is if, if I do this, if I do that, and the, uh, the main idea will be the consequence. I will do this, I won't do this, etc. okay? So this is what I want you to do. Okay, let's, and then we're, we'll continue practicing, okay? <laughs> uh -huh. mm -hmm. There you go. Let me share right now my screen. There you go. This is the one that I need. There you go. Okay, can you see my screen, girls and boys? Yeah? Yeah. Okay, cool. Let me see, let me see. Okay. Let me see, let me see. Okay. Not yet. There. Yeah, not yet. Okay. <laughs> Okay, guys, so we're going to talk about conditional sentences with if. Can you see it, Mr. Sullivan? Yes or no? Sullivan, Mr. Sullivan. I'm sorry, sorry. Okay. Please, please, please. Yes? If you get. Yes, can you see it or no? Yeah. Okay, cool. Also, that means that yes, you can see it. Okay, guys. So when we're talking about the conditional, you see that conditional is you're going to start every time with if, if, if. That means a possibility, right? You always going to use girls, well, at least for this condition, guys, because we're learning the first conditional, okay? Uh, you're going to use the present tense. In this case, we have get, have, can buy, don't save. Okay, so let's read the first part. If you get a high paying job, what will be the consequence? Take a look at this one. Who can help me read the consequence? Mm, thank you, Tanya, go ahead. Uh, you'll have more, more cash to spend. Exactly, you'll have more cash to spend. If you see guys, when we're talking about the, con the condition, well, the consequence of this conditional, we're going to use the future. The future with will, with may, or with might. And then we have an example. You will have more cash to spend, okay? Make also, could you please be so kind to read for me the second sentence? Um, Nati, please. I'm sorry, sir, I can't see the screen. It's very blurry. It's very blurry? Ah, uh, let me check it out. For the internet, I think. Uh-huh. Wait a minute, let me double check if I can pull it up a, a little bit bigger. What about this? Is this much better, bigger or no? Yeah, a little bit better. What about now? No. Yes. Yes. Okay. Yes. All right. So can you please read for me the second sentence? If you have... No, I cannot read the picture. I'm sorry. You cannot read it? Ah, okay. Yes. Don't worry. What I'm going to do... As always, I'm gonna send it to you to the WhatsApp, okay? So allow me just a couple of minutes. Let me find it out here. There you go. Okay, let me send it to you right now. Bear with me for a moment. Let me know as long as you're able to see it, okay? Okay. Yeah, so a couple of minutes. There you go. Okay. There you go. Just let me know if you are able to see it. Yes, teacher. Yeah, cool. All right. Excellent. So can you please read for me, Nati, the second sentence? Okay. If you have more cash to spend, mm -hmm. what will be the consequence? You'll be able to buy anything you want. Exactly. So you see, if you have, uh, that is present, past, or, or future, girls. Nati? Present. Present, exactly. So what will be the consequence? You'll be able to buy anything you want. So that means that the future, you will use it with will, right? In this case, a positive way. Okay. Uh, Rachel, can you please be so kind to continue reading for me? The third if sentence. Can, if you can buy anything you want, mm -hmm. you won't save more you won't save your money exactly you won't save your money you see we also can use the negative the negative will is want okay and uh, the last one uh, 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 solving if you don't save your money if you, 
if you don't save your money, you may need another job. Exactly. Very good. So you see, guys, this is easy peasy quizzy, right? It's not complicated. Do you have any doubts so far right now? So far, is it good? Yeah. Okay, so let's practice. Um, you say that you're not able to see my screen, right? Right, Nati? No. No, right? no. Okay. Okay. So this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to send it to you right now, the second part of this exercise. And basically, guys, we have six sentences with if in column A, and we have the possible consequences in column B. So what I want you to do is basically just um, put the one that corresponds, the B that corresponds in the A section. So there you go. Mm -hmm. Okay, this is going to be our first activity. Uh, Nati, can you please be so kind to read for me number one, please? If you eat less sugar. If you eat less sugar. Mm -hmm. You will be able to, no. no. If you eat less sugar. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. What will be that, the right consequence for that first possible situation? You stay in, in shape without joining a gym? I don't know. What do you think, guys? Mm hmm to work every day. Uh, if you eat so, less sugar? I, I, I think is the, you might feel a lot of heart. Yes, that's right, Selvin. You might feel a lot of health here. Very good, excellent, good job. Uh-huh, uh, uh, good try, Nadine. <laughs> yeah, okay, okay, Mr. Selvi, what about number two? Number two is if you walk to work every day. Uh huh. Yeah, you are staying in shape without joining a gym. Very good, excellent. Okay, hey, Rachel, number three. If you don't get enough sleep, mm -hmm. you won't be able to stay awake in class. Yes, that's true. That happens to me today. <laughs> excellent very good excellent and number four tanya <laughs> if you change job mm -hmm. you have more uh, more money to spend yourself on oh yourself. very good excellent yeah. uh if a uh, number five uh, nati if you don't get married mm -hmm. You may not like it better than your old one. <laughs> okay, well, yes. And number six. If you travel abroad, abroad mm -hmm. you will be able to experience a new culture. Very good. Okay, guys. Now, so far, it has been easy right? Because all that you got to do is to match the information in column A with the information of column B. Ah, now it's going to be the challenge. What will be the challenge? Then I want you guys to do, to say the information or to start the information in column A and set the consequences by your own, okay? For example, Natty, read the first sentence. If you eat less sugar, if you eat less sugar. Okay, what will be the consequence? Uh, you will be lost weight. Okay, you will lose weight. Very good. Or you will lose. You will lose. You weight. will lose. You, oh, you will lose weight. Very good. Or also, if you want to use a contraction weight of will, you can say you lost. Mm -hmm. Very good. Excellent. Tanya, number two. Did you walk uh, to work every day? Mm hmm. You stay in shape. Very good. Ah, that is similar to the one that we have in, in section B. Ah. Ah, ah. Um. Think about another one. <laughs> Don't be bad. So be bad. Yeah, to think about yeah. another one. Another 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 yeah. consequence. It could be real or not. I. <laughs> how do you say ahorro? Uh, save. Save. 
Save. You'd save a lot of money. Mm -hmm. In gas, right? Yes. Yeah, very good. Excellent. Number three, Mr. Salvin. You don't get an hour sleep. Uh -huh. uh, you... you can use might, okay? Or you can say you can also use the negative of will. Yes. Uh, you be able to sleep or wait. You what? If you get enough sleep? You yeah. said you will what? Or you won't be able? That is. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You will you mm -hmm. be able. Uh -huh. Sick every day. You'll be able to sick every day, you said. If you don't get enough sleep. Ah, okay. Yeah, you you, you might no. get sick. Yeah, okay, that's right. Yes that's or cool. not? Yes, that's right. Okay, what about uh, number four, Rachel? If you change jobs, mm -hmm. uh, no nobody won't take serious. Nobody t will take you, or might take you seriously. Okay, very, seriously, okay. seriously, very good, excellent. Okay, Natty, number five. I'm sorry, the same one. <laughs> <laughs> If you don't get married, you may feel alone. Okay, very good. That's true sometimes, right? Sometimes. Sometimes yes, sometimes not. Okay, and the last one, uh, Tanya. If you travel abro abroad, 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 that means out of your country. Uh, mm -hmm. You will... Uh, I don't know. You will eat uh -huh. delicious. Ah, taste. yeah. Yeah, very good. Yeah, right? Depends on the country that we go, right? Yeah. Yeah. That's cool. That's awesome. Now let's continue practicing because I want you guys to also, uh, well, understand how we can use. A conditional okay so in this case guys i'm going to send you something uh, 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 uh. we will continue with that uh, uh, uh. and this is going to be a per job okay a per work let me send you one two three four five possible situations and i want you guys to think about a possible consequences but i want uh two possible consequences per situation okay so let me double check okay there you go tell me if you're able to to receive it yeah yeah okay now this is what i want you to do i'm, I'm going you're going to work in pairs okay it's going to be easy uh so now who wants to work with selby okay thank you rachel <laughs> uh. <laughs> he's like yeah yeah okay so let me double check right now. Let me share. We're going to create two rooms here. Okay, Mr. Zelby, you're going to work with Rachel. And uh, Nadia, you're going to work with Tony. Okay, please accept the invitation. And I want you guys to think about two possible consequences per possibility, okay, per a scenario. Okay, please accept the invitation. Okay, Nati, a pleasant invitation. Hello. Mm. You will get married. You will get married. 
Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, Part-time job. Uh, you. You have uh, more time for the family. Okay, more time for the family. And number three, if you join a gym, uh, you will be lose weight. Hey guys, you can use may or might, okay? Remember that you can use, you might lose weight, for example. Yes, other, other job. job. Yes. Yeah. Other Might job. need another okay. job, okay. Yes. Yes. Sorry, sorry. Okay. Other consequences. If you if you get a part time job, you will have time to study. Huh? Time to study. Okay. Number three. Four inch. Yes. Four inch. Did you finish? No yet. Uh, no yes. yet. Okay. There are two sentences by, mm -hmm. by each one, right? Yes. Per per situation, yes. Okay. Ah. Almost, we almost finished. Okay, cool. In number one, Tanya, maybe. Ah. You will, you will be a fit person. <laughs> fit person. Or you will stay in shape. Fit person. Mm -hmm. Uh, move to a foreign, foreign country. country, like extranjero, un país yes. extranjero, yes. right? Yes. Okay. Um, And number two, get a part time. If you get a part time job, you won't uh, have too much money. Mm -hmm. And number three. Uh, if you join a gym, uh, you will uh, improve your health. Improve to your health. Improve. Very good. Excellent. Mm -hmm. Four. If you 
move to a foreign country, you may learn another English, another language. Mm -hmm. And the last. Mm -hmm. That's fine. <laughs> Did you finish, guys, or no? No yes, yet. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, cool. Yeah. Let's come back together. Aha, uh -huh. we have Nati solving Rachel. All right. Guys, how you like the activity? Do you like it? Yeah? Okay, what ideas do we have? Okay, let me double check the first one. Uh, 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 uh. Hey, what is your co possible consequence for the first one? If I fall in love, uh, Tanya, what you have? Uh, you'll uh, be happy. You'll be happy. Well, I'll be happy. Okay. <laughs> Any consequence? Another consequence for the same scenario, Rachel? If they fall in love, mm -hmm. they will be parents. Okay, very good. Another possible, <laughs> Nati? If you fall in love, uh, you have children. Aha, uh -huh, you will have children. Very good. Solving and the last one, if you fall in love, and solving is, yes, he has four. <laughs> 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 what about you, Solving? Mr. Solving, we cannot hear you. I think you, you are on mute. Sorry, sorry. Okay, okay. If you fall in love, you fall in love uh -huh. you will get married. Okay, very good, excellent. And scenario number two. If you get a part-time job, Rachel, what you have for us? Um, you will have time to study. Very good, that's a really good one, excellent. And that's true. That had happens <laughs> to me. I used to have a part-time job and I had a possibility to study. Very good. Another possibility, Nati? I don't know, conse consequence or the possibility? If you get a part-time job, mm -hmm. you won't have too much money. Yes, that's true, exactly. But you will have time for study. <laughs> Very good, excellent. Another possibility, Tanya? If you get a part-time job, mm -hmm. you have a a more time for the family. <laughs> yeah, you will have more time for your family. Very good, excellent. Solving, if you have a part-time job. If you get a part-time job, mm -hmm. you may need other job. You might need another job, yes, maybe be because what Nati said, you won't have yeah. a lot of money, right? Okay, excellent, very good. Now the scenario number three, the possible situation if you join a gym. Any consequence for that, uh, Rachel? Uh, you will be a fit person. Uh-huh, you will stay in shape, like, you know, 90, 60, 90. Okay, very good. Aha, <laughs> uh -huh, you see it, Selvin, uh -huh, aha, Selvin. Aha, now he's paying attention, I don't know why. Okay, <laughs> what about you, Nati? What do you have for us, for SNR number three? If you join a gym, you might lose weight. Very good, yeah, that's true. Definitely. Okay, what about you, Tanya? What do you have for us? If you job a gym, mm -hmm. you'll, uh, you'll improve health. You improve your health? 
improve your health. Oh yeah, you will improve your health or you might improve your health, right? Very good, excellent. What about you, Selvin? What you have for us? Okay, if you if you join a game, mm -hmm. you will eat a Big Mac. You will eat a Big Mac. Come on. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Are you sure? So, what's the purpose to go to the gym? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh, more, more calories. Uh, of course, and you're going to earn and those then, calories again. And then you eat a hamburger, a big hamburger. Uh huh. <laughs> and return the calories. Exactly. So you will spend more time in the gym, right? Yes. And the <laughs> to more... burn those calories. <laughs> So what's the purpose of going to the gym? <laughs> right? uh, come on, Mr. Zombie, but that's a good okay. one. <laughs> Excellent job, sir. If, if you will eat three uh, pupusas of chicharrón, mm -hmm. <laughs> and doesn't matter. Four pupusas, okay, yeah, I know. They are really good, but uh, it's bad for your health. A lot of calories, right? Okay, but they are delicious. Okay, and scenario number four. If you move to a foreign country, what you have for us, Rachel? That had happens um, to you, right? Uh huh. If you move to a foreign country, uh -huh. um, you might to get a better job. You might, uh, yeah, that's a possibility. Yes, yeah, very good. Excellent. You might get a better job. You might get a better job. Yeah, that's good. What What you have for us, Nati? If you move to a foreign country, you may learn another language. Yes, you might learn another language. Oh, yeah, exactly. Or you will have to learn another language, right? Yeah, that's true. Yeah. Depends for the country that you're going to. Very good, excellent. Uh, what you have for us, Tanya? Another consequence. If you move to a, a foreign country, mm -hmm. uh, you uh, learn for a, a other culture. Yeah, exactly. You might need to learn another culture, and definitely, right? Definitely. If not, it could be a cultural shock, right? The, the way they act, the way they conduct themselves, the way they dress, what they eat, etc. It's a little bit easy if you move to a country like, uh, for example, Latin country, right? Uh, for example, Colombia, right? Well, in this case, Rachel, that we are in the same continent, right? From Belize to El Salvador, etc. But can you imagine if you move uh, to Israel, to Thailand, to Russia? Oh my goodness. Mm -hmm. That would be totally different. That would be a cultural shock. Definitely. Yes. So that's interesting. Very good. Thank you, Tanya. And Selby, what about you? What do you have for us? If you go to a foreign country, mm -hmm. you will miss your country and parents. Yes, that's true. And also, you're, you will miss your, the food, the typical food, and the tortillas. Yes. Yes, definitely. And, and, and beans. And the beans that had happened to you guys? <laughs> yeah, uh, Rachel? That had happens to you when you move to Belize? Uh, what? About what? <laughs> about, the about the food, because Selvin said that if you move to a foreign country, you will, lose, you will miss the tortillas. Yeah, of yeah. course. <laughs> yeah, oh my say. God. Really? <laughs> oh. yeah. What else did it, you miss? Uh, tortillas and beans. Beans? Because they, 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 um, they eat only cheese? rice and beans, but beans, beans black. Black beans. <laughs> oh, black beans. Uh -huh. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> black beans. Okay. Yeah, and, and I, I don't like it because the when when they do rice and beans, mm -hmm. they put the 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 soup. The soup. The uh -huh. soup of yeah, the soup of beans on the rice, and um, I don't like it. Yeah, yeah. And, and they always, they always give in the in the meal. Really? And, yeah. Oh, in, in, okay. In What's in the potato? lunch and 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 in, in dinner. And dinner, yeah. Oh, and maybe the way they prepare the beans because sometimes they prepare yeah. in a different way, right? Yeah, just just uh. the water and beans and how, how do you say? No, uh, salt. <laughs> salt. Salt. Yeah. <laughs> That's it. Just, yeah. 
I don't know. <laughs> and here we prepare in a different way, right? I prepare different ways. Oh, you prepare uh, in a different uh, way. Okay. Yes, yes, Solving the chef. Uh, <laughs> the ingredients is. Uh, the ingredients are. Uh -huh. ingredients is, uh, water, uh -huh. beans, red beans, or beans of seda. Uh huh. Silk, Silk beans. beans. <laughs> yes. And put a head of onion. Onion. Uh, Garlic. A head. A head of. What do you say? Apple. Garlic. Garlic. Yes, uh -huh. garlic and salt. Mm -hmm. mm, and vegetables, and, right? No, no. Uh, I put the uh, meat. The meat? Meat. Mm -hmm. Meat of, of pig or... Of pork. Oh, yes, or... Listen to uh, Selvin's bone, recipe, girls. Bone. Ah, okay. Bone. Okay, bones of the, the beef. Ah, okay, that's nice. Mm -hmm. Oh, so you have you listened Mr. Solvin's recipe, guys? You know what? <laughs> yeah, I'm going to add something. And uh, on the past curse, uh, we were like in the in a. Uh, this is like a like a parenthesis, okay? <laughs> this is a parenthesis talking about food and recipes. I, I used to have a student who prepared, and it was a man also who prepares bean soup, but he added loroco. To the bean soup and you know what i tried uh, to add laroque on the bean soup that i made my, myself <gasps> you cannot imagine it's really delicious it yeah. gives like an extra touch i don't know yeah. but since then every time that i do like or prepare a bean soup i had to add laroque and yeah try it try it because i i only have a tried laroque in chicken soup right and in hand soup Yes. But yes. nothing yes. on, uh, well, on beans, up, but it's really good. Okay, so <clears throat> coming, going back to business. <laughs> All right. <laughs> okay, the last is scenario. All right. It's Sorry Better Horror. What you have for me, Tanya? Uh, sorry Better Horror. If you study very hard, mm -hmm. uh, you'll uh, have a better job. You will have a better job. That's excellent, Bex. Very good. Rachel, what about you? What do you have for us? If you study very hard, uh, you will be the best in your car in your class. Oh, oh, excuse me. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> <laughs> excellent. Got this good one. Okay, if you study very hard, Nati. If you study very hard, you will have a better future. Very good. And Zalbin, if you study very hard. You study very hard. You might need uh, the best, the best computer. You might have the best computer. Yes. Oh, you might need it. Okay. You might need it. Yes. Hey, if you study very hard, guys, you will pass the English course. <laughs> uh -huh. Very good. Very good. Excellent. That's a good one. So you see, guys, how it's easy, right? Easy peasy quizzy, right? But also, guys, try to use uh, in the consequence part, will, but try to use might also, try to use may, try to use another ones, all right? Because we're used to like just will, 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 and it's good, and it's good. But also you can use may or might, or you can also use the negative weight of will, of will for example, won't. If you study hard, you won't have to, what, go to sleep early one day before the exam for example that's an idea all right so easy peasy quizzy any questions guys so far so good so far yeah. so good we need to practice more. Uh, yeah we need to practice more right okay for example guys if you study very hard you will improve your grades uh-huh and if you improve your grades rachel Uh, we cannot hear you, sorry. Grades? Grades, grades, notas, grades. Uh, uh, if you improve your grades, mm -hmm. you will improve your English. Uh -huh, very good. And or, if you improve your English, yeah. Nati? Hey, have a better job. Very good. And if you have a better job, Tanya? You'll have a, a 
a lot of money. <laughs> and if you have a lot of money, it's all good. We'll spend in the, the mall. In the mall? Oh, okay. And if you spend with the mall, you will invite a teacher to a cup of coffee. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, guys, you know what? Time passed really fast. It's incredible. We already are. It's 9 on 1. And thank you guys also for staying with us, even though the teacher falls asleep, okay? I don't know what happened to me. <laughs> yeah. I was. I said, I'm going to close my eyes just for 15 minutes. And no, it was more than an hour. Okay. But thank you so much, guys, for continuing here, for being here. I'm so happy. Hopefully, tomorrow we'll, we'll have everybody right here with us, Sulmita and Rosario. Any questions, any doubts, guys, please send me information. I just want to know if you have, a, if you already have finished the platform or you still have problems with some exercises. Yes, for a section, five to three. Five, for the five, five section, three. five, three. Yes. Also, you, Nati, Rachel? Yes, in five, uh, four, five dot four. Five, three, five, four. Any, anything else? No? Rachel, no? Sobi, no, no, okay. So let me double check right now and I will say and I will help you, okay, with that, okay, okay. So five, three, okay. and five, four, okay, guys. Yeah. Thank you so much for being here. Has and kiss us. See you tomorrow, okay. Hopefully, I don't fall asleep. <laughs> bye bye. <laughs>